Hi, my name's Paige and I'm head girl here at Manor High School. Hi, my name's Ayusha and I'm deputy head girl here at Manor High. Hello, I'm Dylan and I'm head boy here at Manor. Over the next 20 minutes, we're going to be talking to you a bit about um, life at Manor and answering some questions that you may have, so be sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, we'll do our best to answer them and we're quite nervous, so please be nice. <laughs> Um, I'd just like to start by saying that one of the main reasons that I joined MANA was because of previous experiences that my family had had. Um, my sister had previously come to the school and she had a really positive experience and it made me, <coughs> sorry, it made me really want to come to um, MANA and just to continue my education here, um, joining in 2013. Um, when we joined, we had a tour from an older student, which allowed us to settle in easily as we knew the areas quickly. Um, and in year seven, vertical tutoring began, which was, quite a, which was quite an important thing and quite a useful thing because the older students were able to assist the younger students, not only in where areas were, but also in their work. Um, yeah. So, um, obviously we've been here since year six, but in year nine we had the choice whether we could move or stay. And personally, I was just really happy to stay here because Manor had become a really, like, almost like a family. It was such a nice environment to come to and it was really comfortable to learn in and I knew all the teachers very well. So that is uh, the main reason why I stayed here. I think also the amount of support that we had available to us at Manor. <clears throat> so as Dylan was saying, the teachers knew you inside out. They know what your struggles are, they know um, how to challenge you, and they also know what, we, what you're really good at. Um, and that just makes you feel more confident in lessons and allows you to get the best out of them. Outside of lessons, there are other things, such as intervention classes based on ability and attuned to what you need to um, learn more about. And they happen at lunch and after school. And they're just really useful just to like fine tune what you've been learning in lessons. And I think the vertical tutoring also really supported that. Yeah. Um, so I had a student in my form, who a year six student, who was struggling with, um, with her English reading levels. And so um, a programme called Rude Leader was put in place where older students were able to assist younger students um, in their reading and able to boost their grades so they, they could achieve the best. Yeah, and uh, we've had the privilege to experience both in year six the, uh, prior to the vertical tutoring system and in year seven. And it really, we saw it firsthand how it broke down the walls between the, the years and the age barriers and now it's become a, mo uh, a much more friendly environment. Yeah, for example, um, a girl in my form wanted to do Duke of Edinburgh and I'd already done it and she was asking me, for, she was going on her expedition, she was asking me what she may need to take with her and just little tips that you can just do in the group as you're going along because obviously you're walking um, for quite a long time just little things and tips and um, tricks for her to help to help get her through the day um, as easy as she can and I think that's just one of the greatest examples I can give you how much vertical tutoring really integrates people in together and allows them to bounce off previous experiences between each other as well. So um, I think being at Manor has really helped me develop my leadership skills. Um, one example is when I was um, a Loric leader which is part of the Pixel Edge programme. So with that I had the opportunity to go to London to the main Pixel conference and, uh, and talk to teachers from all over the country which I think really helped my, uh, my speaking abilities and made me much more confident. I was also a maths leader for three years and what that means is that I would every, every once a week I would come and help uh, a certain student who was in, in year six just before they'd take their SAT. And that both benefited them and benefited me because I, I felt more confident with being able to teach, felt more confident with maths. And uh, I think that also showed with a, an improvement in their grades. Yeah, and leadership skills go outside the classroom and go outside everything we've been doing in form. There are many after school activities and enrichment clubs. So for example, I'm part of the debate team and we have been really successful um, with uh, many competitions. For example, we've been to uh, Oxford Union debates and we came second there. We've done pixel regional debates and we've um, tried really hard there. And we've also won a lot of those competitions as well. Um, and it's just allowed us really to um, improve our leadership skills, improve our speaking skills, and for me personally to improve my confidence um, by talking and public speaking to a large amount of people. And I believe that's the sort of thing that employers want to see. They want to see a well-rounded person with abilities and lots of different things. And that's what Manor has allowed us to do. And not only that, but not only debate, but we also were able to go to Crown Court, where we, um, last year we won, um, so our school won, and we were able to taste the different roles um, that happen in court. And 
as well as, well as Coach said, it boosted their confidence massively. Um, and it also gave us an insight on different ideas and different ideologies, and um, we, we gained loads of different attitudes to, to the law. And I think it just gave us an, an even more understanding um, of how things happen in the career world. I think they're just some of the examples of the opportunities we have at Manor. Because uh, personally, uh, Paige and I take part in GCSE statistics, which is once a week for an hour and a half after school. And um, that's uh, something that I think, for me personally, it's something that um, I'd like to, to maybe take on as a career. And uh, the, another enrichment activity there is, is GCSE Astronomy, which um, a group of us uh, do. And it's a... Uh, it's something different to your regular GCSEs, and I think that's something that Manor does well, uh, presenting opportunities to everyone within the school. Okay, so we've had a question about our earliest memories at Manor High School. Um, one of my earliest memories happened in the first couple of days at Manor High School, and I got lost um, on the way to my geography lesson, and I was stressing, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get there, um, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what I'm doing. The school was still quite new to me, even though we've had the tour, and obviously, um, had people help show us around and tell us where we were going. I was still quite frazzled. And I remember this girl, I, I don't know her name now, but I'd like to thank her very, uh, a lot. But she came up to me in the corridor and just really calmed me down. I think she was in year nine. And obviously I was in year six, so it's quite a big age gap. And it was a bit daunting to me. But she really calmed me down. She asked me where I was going, what I was doing. And she really just helped me, and she helped me get to my lesson. And I remember after that, I just felt like more confident, more comfortable in the school, because it reminded me that we were all part of the same school. And lots of people are starting new, and it's obviously scary for them but everyone's here to help you and help you go around. Um, yeah, the same. But we just had another question going on about um, how we're we getting on in year 11. Um, and I think for any student who's in year 11 about state GCSEs, I'm sure they have a little bit of panicking going on. But um, our teachers have put in place a three-step plan um, in which after our November mocks, um, the teachers will sit down, look at our grades and realise our weaknesses and strengths in which um, they'll create a plan for us in a revision timetable in which we can then adapt um, and enhance our knowledge. So I, I do think that's really, um, I think that's really great for our um, next steps of our education. Yeah. So obviously, I, we will be nervous with the exams that are coming, but I'm, I don't want to say it too early, but I'm feeling quite confident because the, the way the school help and, and the, yeah, they really make you feel confident and I'm starting to see that the path that they put before, putting my meg at the end of it, the, the grade that I'm, I'm estimated to get my GCSEs and I'm starting to build towards it and it's something I'm really happy about that I'm, I'm starting to see the results of all, all the work we've put in. Definitely. I think this year especially, um, just starting off, obviously we've had a few tests just um, gauging where we are after the <laughs> long break. But, um, and I think we've definitely seen lots of the pieces falling into place and lots of the bits yeah. sort of showing us our path to our exams. And obviously they are nervous. Like I know our first exam is going to be on the 13th of May and we are all like anticipating <laughs> and waiting <laughs> for it to come. But we also know that we have a journey to take and we have to just bear in mind and keep um, thinking about all the hard work that we have put in. And I think another key thing there is motivation. I think the school has provided us with loads of different um, activities and help to help boost our motivation. And obviously, I think every student here really wants to do well for themselves and really wants to do well for the school as a whole because we want to give back to the school that has given us so much. Um, and with the pressure that the exams and, and that has everything going on, as Dylan mentioned, we do have mentor. We do have mentors. Um, and those mentors allow us to communicate with them and create a vision plan and um, they care immensely about our mental well-being. Um, we have um, a great support system put in place and we also have um, I think, uh, we also have programs like Human Utopia which allow us to build on our mental well-being and make sure that we are in the right state of mind in order to pass these GCSEs. Yeah. Um, also, I think with everyone towards lessons, um, towards our exams and we've got them at the end so I think everyone's you know attitude towards learning has incre increased like immensely and you start to see that within lessons that people are taking much more uh, yeah, a much bigger part in lessons and uh, you know they're trying to get every bit of knowledge that they can
Um, yeah, so the ethos and lessons is really focused, I'd say. I think that obviously a lot of people are trying their very hardest to get as well as they can and to really excel in their subjects. But I also think there's a like a... I want to say like a family community feel yeah. with everybody bouncing ideas off of each other, everybody growing as a whole rather than one individual who just um, sits in the corner quiet. Everyone, it's more like everyone has like a role in the classroom. They're There's all like no passengers in the lessons. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Everybody has an active role and they're all sort of getting involved, and that's what really makes us enjoy the lessons. And I think that um, is then what makes us do well at them because we want to succeed in the lessons because we enjoy them so much. Yeah, it's not all like teacher focus and a teacher talking at you. It's also class discussions which um, are based on the topics that we're learning about and they only enhance our ideology about the subject and allow us to get those top grades. Yeah, um, another question we've just had in is what advice you'd give a year six. So personally I'd say don't be scared. I know it's, a, it's quite a big jump going from primary school to secondary school but it's, a, it's something that once you're here you can feel much more settled in and, and especially at Manor you can get settled in such a short time period yeah, definitely. and with everyone supporting you with house managers, the pastoral, pastoral assistant, it's all, it's all there to, to help you so don't, don't feel scared, Just, uh, I'd, I'd be confident if I was there. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously the jump and the experience is always a bit daunting and you never really know what it's going to be like on the other side. I mean, it's all well and good as telling you um, our experiences, but who's to say it's going to be yours? But I think the important thing is, is just to think about what you want to do for yourself as a person and what you what your motivations are to continue your education here at Manor High School. And also that, as Dylan was saying, don't be scared. I mean, so many people are in the same boat as you. I mean, we were all in the same boat as well. Um, and we were, we were all nervous. Everybody's nervous. And that sort of just allows you to... And I think just to move on together, and I think that's a really nice feeling that you know that everybody else is there with you and is feeling the exact same thing. And if you are nervous, talk to somebody about it. Don't, don't just bottle it all up. I think that's really important. And that's what we're really encouraged to do here at Manor. Um, I think... All year nine students are at the stage where they're picking their options. Um, and I think one tip just for myself is um, don't go insane and pick all the subjects that you think you need to, the, the hardcore subjects. If that's what you want to do, then do it. But pick a subject that you feel passionate about, something that you will want to enter a lesson and you'd want to sit down, you want to learn about that topic. Pick a subject that will keep you sane. <laughs> yeah, and I think leading on from that, I think my biggest point would be do not, don't just follow what your friends are doing. You, you want to, don't, don't go into a subject just because your friends are doing it. You want to do it because you're interested in doing it. And you don't want it to be something you've regretted you've taken instead of uh, possibly another subject that you could have taken. Definitely. I think, um, speak to your teachers. Uh, I mean, they know you. They know what you're struggling in. They know what you do well in. They know you really well. And I think that's one of the most important things when picking your options, to not just follow the crowd, not just do what your friends are doing. Do something that you're really passionate about. For me, that, that was computer science. I mean, I love computer science. And it's a subject that I look forward to on my timetable. When I see I have double computer science, it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> that we make me. And um, I really enjoy going to that lesson. And I think um, I did speak to my teacher before picking it. I said that I really want to do it. It's something that I'm really passionate about. And I was advised to pick it because it's going to be something that I would have then done, that I have done, for two years. And if I wasn't happy with that subject, it just, I think the whole ethos and lesson would just have, like, um, would have made me less uh, happy with my uh, results and happy having to revise for a certain topic, because you are going to have to put a lot of work into it. So it's, make, do what you enjoy, because if you can sit down and really put work into a topic and really still enjoy what you're doing, then it shows that that is one of the right subjects for you. I mean, you can also uh, try and look forward into the future, see what you eventually might want to do as a career. Um, keep your options open, so Definitely. you might not want to keep it. You don't want to have like a narrow few options that will take you into a niche area. You want a big, wide field that you can go into, and um, you can you can use what you did at GCSE in any any sort of uh, environment. Um, and I think also, I think. When I was um, about to pick my options, and I was um, just about the area of picking Spanish or French for my GCSEs, and I've been taking French all my life uh, through primary school, um, and then we had a new Spanish teacher come in, and she gave us a taste test, and I was really interested in it, mm -hmm. and um, she was like, "It's not hard for you to go there," and she she worked with me, and. Um, 
within one year of Spanish, I was able to in, um, build up my knowledge to the extent that I had in several years of French. And she had gone to the extra mile to give me ex exactly what I needed to pass the exam. She gave me the past papers. She's always willing to be there day and night um, on an email and she'll respond immediately with any questions that I have. And she's just there, um, not only as a teacher, but also there just to support me as like a friend. Yeah, also I think some teachers that have done a lot for me are um, Dr. Kelly and Miss Vigela, yeah. uh, because what, what they've done is run sessions after school that they were doing because they cared about the subjects that, that they were teaching, which are astronomy and statistics. And it's, they've, they've put in their effort, taken mm -hmm. their time to teach yeah. us. And it's really shown that um, the, the relationship that builds between the teachers and the students, that they'll be prepared to do something like that and really help us with, uh, with the subjects we're taking. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I think I, what Aisha was mentioning with Spanish, uh, Miss Rodriguez, who is our Spanish teacher, has always, always helped us in lessons, really gone the extra mile, as she was saying, um, with questions and obviously for splitting it for different abilities and really talking you through what you need to do for the exam. And it's, that's why I'm, it's one of the subjects I'm most confident about going into my GCSEs, because yeah. I know exactly what I'm doing. I do with the other subjects, but I know exactly what I'm doing at all times. I know what I have to include. And I, I, it makes me feel like more calm about going into that. And so thank you, Miss Rodriguez. <laughs> um, I think I'd always like to also ta thank uh, Mr. Lowith. Not only is he my form tutor, but um, he's also a science teacher. And so when I walk into form, he'll always be there to give me extra questions. He'll also he'll always test me, like challenge me. And sometimes you'd be like, oh, I just want to sit down. I don't want to be asked a question. But it really enhances my, my knowledge. And he really helps me out in, in areas where he may not be exactly um, skilled in. But he will go to the extra mile to be able to give me that knowledge. Um, I think we can like sit here and name each teacher because every, <laughs> so every, teacher I've had, yeah, every teacher I've had has done something something out of their way, gone out of their way to, to help us in, in every subject, which yeah. is something that I think it shows how passionate they are to teach us and it's something that I think you'll find here they at have, Manor. They have yeah. faith in us. They, they absolutely believe that we will get the grades that we are expected to get. Yeah. And I think that motivation just helps us um, drive through the lessons and drive through the exams um, because we have that extra motivation and support from our teachers. So thank you so much. And um, Yeah, thank you. And definitely, it's not just in our lessons. It's not just for GCSEs. It's for post-16 options as well. And I think um, one of the things that Manor has really helped us with is looking ahead, looking at our futures and looking at what we're going to do in the future. So post-16 education, going to college, doing certain applications um, for university and things like that. I know we've been on trips to um, uh, where the Russell Group universities have done presentations to us, uh, which are the Russell Group are like the highest group of um, universities that we are really we want to aspire to attend. <laughs> aspire. <laughs> and, um, I think um, that's been really helpful and informative for us because it's, me it's meant that we have got all the information we need about them, about what we need to be doing at A-level for each subject, about how, what grades we need to get to get into them, and then just taking a step back at A-level, um, I think just on Monday there was a post-16 evening here, and um, all the local providers were here for a sixth form education, and uh, they all came and they all gave it, um, were around and really showing, telling us what their school was about, and uh, telling us like what we need to do to be able to make sure that we can get a place there if we are go, if we would like to. Yeah. But also talking about apprenticeships, so. Obviously, then the next level of education isn't the only way. There are many apprenticeships uh, available for loads and loads and loads it's of different subjects. Becoming more popular. Yeah, yeah, it's really it's really um, expanding now, and we've had lots of information about that, and I feel really informed about all the choices and opportunities that I can have. Um, yeah, thank you to on. the local schools as well for yeah. that. I think just to add to Paige's point, uh, the the school isn't just looking at what we're doing right now. Obviously, it is looking at GCSEs, but it's looking at what we're going to do further after post 16 so we've all had careers interviews with a, a careers advisor and we've all been there's been various post 16 evenings and it's really helped us just look at what we're going to do in the long run long run just not uh, not just uh, here at GCSEs um, yeah, and I think the amount of trust that teachers have in us, <laughs> yeah. and uh, we all have in each other. I mean, they trust us to go live. <laughs> <laughs> shows that we have like a really close um, uh, relationship with them in terms of our mental health, in terms of our education, in terms of our academics. And I think that's just really helped us to go forward and go through and be really good at everything and 
we want to do. And I think it's all it's given us all the mindset to just excel at everything we do. Because if we yeah. have if we know we have the ability to do it and we've been shown, um, we've proved that we have the ability to do it, so why can't we go and seize those opportunities? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I would agree with that. So um, if you'd like to experience the ma magic of manna for yourself, feel free to book a tour. I'm sure uh, any teacher would be um, okay to talk to you. Or we'll, and, yeah. or we'll be happy to show, <laughs> show you around. around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, have a good evening. Yeah, have a good evening. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>